Hey guys, and welcome back to another video with Angel B Designs. If you are new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, what we are going to be doing today is I am going to show you guys how to create this memory plaque here. Um, we are going to be designing it from scratch. I have my heat gloves on. This thing is still hot. It's been like 20 minutes since I finished it and it's still hot. Um, but it is a memorial plaque. Um, I designed it in Canva. I printed it out in silhouette. Um, so I am going to be showing you guys how I designed it and how I sublimated it. So let me turn it down so you guys can really see it. I think it came out absolutely amazing. And it makes a really, really good gift. I will be gifting this to one of my family members. I think she's going to love it. Um, but yeah, this is what we're doing today. Um, I'll also be showing you how to put angel wings on a picture. Um, I use Canva for that as well if I ever need to do it. And I will show you guys how to do that in this video as well. So let's meet me, uh, uh, meet me over at my computer and we will go ahead and get started designing. Okay guys, so I am on my uh, desktop here and I am going to be using the Canva Pro version. So um, I'm sure that you could do this in the, in the free version as well. Maybe you won't be able to have the same details that I have, but um, you definitely can just make a design very, very similar to this in the free version. Um, but today I'll be using the Pro. Um, if you would like to try Canva Pro for free for 30 days, I will put a link in the description box. All you have to do is click the link and then sign up for your free trial. Um, it is a 30-day free trial for Canva Pro to see if it's something that you would be willing to invest in. Okay, so I am just going to show you how I designed this. It's very, very simple, very, very easy. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a page. And then the first thing I'm going to get is my background. And I believe my background was an element. It is. So basically, I typed in sunbeam up here in the search bar under elements. I didn't pick a background. I picked, um, I typed in elements and then I typed in sunbeam because I wanted like the clouds, but I wanted that, you know, that beam uh, to come through. So there's a bunch of different pictures that you could use as backgrounds. Um, I think I just kind of scrolled through and found one that I liked. Um, where is the one that I had? I think this is it. Is that it? Yeah, I think this one was it. Okay, so when you select the picture, now this one is a pro picture, so you would not be able to use this in the, in the free version. Um, so I selected this picture and then I'm going to right click and then I'm going to set image as background. And then if you want to kind of crop this and, and move the picture around, all you do is double click it. And you see how the four arrows come up. Now you can kind of move it around and adjust it to your liking. So if you want less cloud and more blue sky, you can move it that way. If you want more cloud, all you have to do is move the picture up and then select done. Okay, so now we have our background, pretty simple. The next thing I'm gonna do is add in the picture. Um, this is a picture with a frame around it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm back in elements. We're going to scroll down to frames and we're going to select see all. And then I selected, there's a tons of different frames you can choose from. I selected this one right here. Now this one is available in the free version. All of these ones up here are available in the free version, all of these. When you get like past that first row of well, maybe not. These are all available in the free version as well. Yeah, these all say free. So you have a pretty good amount of um, frames available in the free version. But I'm going to be using this oval right here. 
So all you do is select it and then it's going to come onto your canvas. I'm going to make it bigger. And then I'm going to add in my picture. So I'm gonna go into my uploads and I'm gonna add my picture into the frame. So the way we're going to edit this to kind of get it into the circle is the same way. We're going to double click. You can't make it smaller. So what we're gonna do is drag it down like this and just kind of position it into the frame, okay? And then to change the color of the ring, obviously we just come up here to the color swatch and you're going to select the colored box and we're just gonna change it to white. Okay, so far, pretty simple. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in text. Um, I want like a thicker font than this. So the one I'm going to be using is Amsterdam 3. I do believe that this is a Canva font. I'm not 100% sure, but if you are in the free version, there are tons of um, cursive-like fonts that are available to you. So I'm just going to type in loving memory, M-E-M-O-R-Y of, and then we're going to just position this this is a pretty simple design to do. And then I'm going to get another font. This font is one I uploaded, uh, Magante, Magante, however you pronounce this. I purchased this font on um, Creative Market and then I uploaded it into my Canva. So this font is not available um, in the free version. I did purchase it. Okay, now we're gonna add the name. And then we're just going to make that bigger and position it as well. This dotted line means that it's lined up. This one is lined up with that one. That's what the dotted line means. Okay, and then I'm going to type the date. And I'm gonna use the same text as this one. So I'm just gonna select it, duplicate, and we're going to highlight, delete, and then type the dates. And then we're just going to, you know, reposition that and just make everything kind of how we like it. And then I'm gonna duplicate this font as well and type forever in our arts. Okay, now to, you see how kind of here the text is a little, if you're looking at it, it's a little hard to read up against the clouds. Um, to kind of remedy that, remedy that, I'm gonna make the transparency on the background just a touch lighter, not a whole lot, um, just a little bit so that it kind of makes it easier to read on the eyes, okay? So we're at transparency 70, let's do 75. So in comparison, that to, you know, that, you know, that just makes it a little bit easier on the eyes, for, at least in my opinion, it does. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier to read. Okay, and that is pretty much it. You can add you know, any other elements or pictures or however you wanna do it. Let me show you, I know somebody's going to ask, how do I, if you wanna just have the, um, the picture and fade it out. So let me show you how to do that. So let's say you want to just, you want a picture, but you don't wanna use a frame, but you kinda of wanna fade it a little bit, right? So in the pro version, you cannot do this in the free version, what I'm about to do, which is remove this background. We're gonna select the picture, go up to effects, remove the background. We're just waiting for it to do its thing. So now the background is gone. So now we just have our picture, okay? Now, let's say you wanted to just kind of fade it out a little bit. You're gonna go up to transparency and just play with the transparency of it. My computer is moving kind of slow. So there it goes. Okay. 
So you can make it more or less tra transparent. Okay, if that's what you wanted to do. If you wanted to add angel wings to this, I know I've gotten questions about that as well. We're gonna go up here to elements. We're going to type in angel wings in the search bar and you're going to get a whole bunch of different kinds of angel wings that you can use. Um, all you would do is just kind of make it big or as small as you want, position backward. Okay, so let me move this stuff out the way next so I can show you. It's all about really just kind of layering your images, okay? So you can do it like that. That's how you would add angel wings. Obviously, you might want a better, a little bit of a better picture. I think that this picture looks good in uh, sorry about that, guys. I had to, my phone was ringing. I had to take a phone call. But yeah, I think this pet, this picture kind of looks better in a frame just because it has like these harsh edges here. But if you have a better um, picture, um, you can definitely come in here and you can add the angel wings. All you have to do is search angel wings, remove the background, and then, um, you know, those don't look like cartoon wings and just kind of, you know, add them in. All you have to do is just play around with the sizing until it's the sizing that you like or sizing that you need. And then you would just position it backwards. It's, it's just about, you know, layering it is all. Okay, so that's how you add angel wings to a picture. Um, but like I said, the picture that I have, um, I do feel like it looks better in a frame. Um, so this is how I'm going to do mine. So what I'm gonna do now, you would down, I've already downloaded it, but you would go up here to download and you're going to download, if you wanna print it, um, print it off and you want the best picture quality, I would do PNG. You're gonna download it to your computer. You're gonna save it. And then I am printing from Silhouette Studio and I just kind of went up to file merge, brought my picture in. It's already the size that I needed it to be, which I did in Canva. So the size that I did, this canvas is 11.5 wide by 5.5 high. So that's, I went to customize, um, let me show you because I know somebody's gonna ask. I went up here to create a design, custom size, and I put in inches 11.5 by 5.5 was how I did that. So I go into Silhouette Studio and I pull it, uh, go to merge, bring the picture in, and it's already the size that I need it to be. I'm going to print it this way so it fits on my paper. I'm printing 11 with 11 by 17 paper. Don't forget to mirror if you have to do that yourself, unless it's in your settings, but mine isn't. I'm going to go ahead and get this printed off and I will meet you guys over at my craft table. Okay guys, so I'm back here. I'm at the heat press. I do have my heat press um, preheating right now to 400 degrees and we're going to be doing this for, we're actually going to be doing this for a couple of minutes. Um, I have tried this before on 60 seconds and it really did not come out um, that well. So the directions on Amazon say, I think nine minutes, um, but I've done these before. And I think I did it for like, I don't think I did it that long. Okay. Um, so we're just going to play around with it and see what happens. I think I'm going to start off at four minutes. But here's the image here. Um, this white piece of paper is a piece of butcher paper. And it's to protect my, um, my pressing mat. And I have it on top of the butcher paper. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and lint roll it. This is to make sure there's no dust, no particles, no nothing before I put the image on it.
and I did get this plaque from Amazon I will link it down below and then I'm just going to take the image actually what I'm gonna do I need to adjust my pressure on here so I'm gonna do that first because it's too tight I have to loosen it a lot No, nope, that's still too tight. Okay, now it's a little too loose. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so I think that's about a good amount of pressure. Alright, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the image... And I'm going to place it here. I am going to tape it just so we um, don't get any ghosting. I'm using my heat tape. And I think I'm just going to do like two pieces of tape, one on each side. Okay. Then I'm going to take um, another piece of butcher paper. And we're going to put it right on top. Okay. Now I am going to press this. I'm going to press this for about four minutes. And then I'll come back and we'll check it. Because like I said, Amazon said to press it for nine minutes. And I don't want to overcook it. So I'm just going to start with four. I'm going to check it. And if we have to do more, we'll do more. So I will come back in four minutes and we'll see where we're at. All right, guys, so I'm back here, and it has been just about three minutes. So let's go ahead and check. I'm sorry, it's been about four minutes. So I don't really want to move the tape. I know, uh-oh, my camera fell. Sorry, guys. I don't really want to move the tape just in case it's not right. And we have to put it back under. Um, no, it's not done. So, I'm going to do it for another two minutes. Okay? I'm going to do it for another two minutes. And then come back. So, we're about to be at six minutes. And I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back here. It's been, um, it's actually been another three minutes. So we're currently at seven. I did four and then I did three. So we're at seven minutes. I, I did go ahead and check it and I think it looks okay. So let me get my heat gloves. These little photo slates are really, really tricky and finicky. At least I think they are. Um, but, I mean, once you nail it, they're really, really cute. They're really, really pretty. Oh, my gosh. Yes, this looks really good. Okay, so some of the paper is on here. And what I noticed with the paper, like, if it looks a little dusty to you, I just take some Clorox wipes, really, just some Clorox wipes. And it comes right off. Oh, it's so hot. I'm going to have to wait until it's cooled off. It's like burning through the Clorox white. But let me grab my glove again so I can pick it up and show you guys. These things are so, so hot. But there it is. That looks so good. Let me turn this down so you guys can see. Okay. Okay. I can feel the heat through these gloves. Oh my gosh. All right. So there is the finished product. The color transfer looks really, really good. It doesn't look burned or anything like that. That looks, ah, that looks so cute. I made this for a family member. I think she's going to absolutely love it. But, um, so seven minutes total is what I did. Seven minutes. Like I said, I did look on Amazon. Amazon does say uh, nine minutes. Seven, so I guess 
seven to nine minutes if you want to do the full nine you absolutely can but I did seven and you see it has a glossy finish and it does have a stand I'm not going to put it on the stand right now while it's hot because um, I don't want it to melt the stand is plastic and this is still like super super hot like again I can feel the heat through the gloves so I know this is still extremely hot so I don't want to melt the feet but um, you'll be able to see it on the feet in my thumbnail and then I'll probably show it at the beginning of the video as well. But that is all I have for today's video guys on this memorial plaque. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Don't forget to join my Facebook group as well, Crafty Mamas with the S, no emojis. I will put my link tree in the description box. So all you have to do is um, hit the link, uh, click the link tree link. And it'll take you to a link for my Facebook, my TikTok, my Instagram, all of that. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.